good afternoon. There's a list of people that I wanted to thank before I began. I would first like to thank my professors for all the help, effort, and time that they put into helping me. More specifically, I wanted to thank Professor Householder for being the best advisor I'd ever had. In each session, she had so much energy, so much compassion, and a great attention to detail that motivated me to do better in every single class. Without her, I wouldn't have been able to figure out my future career or gear myself closer to succeeding in that aspect. I wanted to thank my parents for instilling in me a strong work ethic, a passion to succeed, and the ability to be resilient in all aspects of my life. I would also like to thank my brother because without him, I would have never known about Woodrow College. He is such a great example to live up to and I try to beat his expectations every day. I want to thank my teammates for supporting and giving me an opportunity to get outside of my work and have fun. I also want to thank my coaches for not only pushing me physically, but mentally as well. And finally, I want to thank softball for giving me the greatest times of my life, the greatest friends, and the greatest family. I also wanted to thank softball for teaching me how to persevere through my worst times. Something that I use as motivation is was a commencement speech given in 2014 at the University of Texas. The speaker, Navy Admiral William H. Raven, discussed 10 ways to make a change in the world. Out of the 10, three really resonated with me. The first was to always make your bed. The takeaways from that is that even in your hardest days, when you came back, you would see that you succeeded in one thing today, and that was making your bed. And it also gave a promise that the next day, you would then succeed once again by making your bed. Another key takeaway I took from that speech was from a story that he discussed about being a sugar cookie. In Navy SEAL training, the, they would get their uniforms checked. And if the uniform didn't live up to the expectation, they were told to go jump into the ocean and roll around in the sand. They would then spend the rest of the day as a sugar cookie. What I took away from that is that no matter how hard you perform, prepare, or try, sometimes you just don't succeed. And in that, you need to learn from it and get used to it and move on. Lastly, I learned that sometimes life is a circus. In Navy SEAL training, what happens is if you don't live up to the physical expectation of the day, you are invited to join a circus, which is extra calisthenics that pushes you like another one in two hours. In that, then you're tired and the next day, you might not live up to the physical expectations again and then be invited back to the circus. What I took away from that was what doesn't break you strengthens you. Thank you all for listening and thank you all for nominating me for this award.